Hello, welcome back to program 44. And I just want to go through the setups for this program when using multi chart. So let's, uh, I have a chart open here, which happens to be the uh, euro dollar one minute chart. The first thing I'm going to do is insert a, another euro dollar uh, chart, same bar length, and it's going to put that on the chart. And then what I'm now going to do is insert the study which is underscore program 44. And uh, just gonna choose the slightly smoother CCI, uh, right strength three, and uh, gonna apply that with a specific user-defined maximum and minimum. This is in the format study, so I'm gonna set the maximum to 250 and the minimum to minus 250, like so. And uh, we want this to be applied to the second second price series on the chart, which is the one in subgraph two. Okay, I think that is everything. Uh, we want to uh, we don't want to draw text, so I'm going to change that to false. That's what we'll do the uh, draw the the, uh, the words later on. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now you see a couple of things have happened here. Um, it's uh, actually plotting on subgraph three so what i'm going to do is just click there i'm just going to go back to properties and change that to subgraph two so that's more correct now you'll notice that these uh the actual lines that show the specific patterns are not plotting properly and that is because we need to make another change or a couple of changes to the price series what i'm going to do is change the scaling and we need that to be user defined I'm going to change that to 250 to minus 250. Similarly, as we had it for the uh, for, for the study. And what I want to do here is just change the look of the instrument because we don't really want to see it on the second uh, subgraph. So I'm just going to change the the colors to match the background and you'll now see that uh, those thicker lines are lining up with the actual CCI. Now, the other thing we want to do, we want to see those words appearing. So what we're going to do is insert the study again. Say OK. And this needs to be uh, applied to, well, let's, uh, let's just see what happens when we want this to be applied to uh, the first price series. And uh, I'm just going to say OK. Now you'll see that we're getting um, the words appearing, um, but we don't really want this plot here. It doesn't do any harm, but uh, we don't need it. So what I'm going to do is double click on that, and I'm just going to click Hide. And then you'll see the words there. And then the other thing that we need to do is just make sure that the settings are the same. So this is the one we're looking at now. And uh, just need to make sure that those two match up. Otherwise, you'll be looking at uh, two different situations. But we do need the draw text to be true in this case. And on the other place that I applied it, I just made a couple of changes to the settings. So that should now match. And uh, if you look, you'll see those those words, bull ghost, for example, appearing there, uh, matches the pattern below. Okay, so hopefully that will be helpful to you. Thank you.